Natural Energy Systems has its roots in the global marketplace. We went halfway around the world to build our first gas phase reduction processing plant. This non-incineration technology was created and patented by Dr. Douglas J. Hallett, a world-renowned scientist and expert in the area of toxic waste. The SPV, at its increased capacity, which we intend to do, performs uh, equally well. Then we can certainly dominate the uh, PCB contaminant waste uh, market in Australia and New Zealand. I think there's been a lot of opportunity to learn from this plan and apply those lessons to GM. Our Canadian and Australian engineering teams constructed and commissioned the new plant on schedule. I mean, I'm ethically convinced that there is a very, very lucrative market in Australia and New Zealand. The results on the PCB waste have been exceptional. Excellent. The experience gained with implementing our revolutionary technology set the stage for global corporations like General Motors to contract us to destroy their highly toxic PCB waste. General Motors demanded that the eradication of their waste was to have absolutely no negative impact on the environment within the community. The large inventory of toxic PCBs needed to be dealt with in a timely manner as the storage containers were beginning to corrode. News of our success led to a contract with the U.S. Army to build a custom processing plant that could operate within the confines of their controlled security facility for the sole purpose of destroying chemical and biological weapons without incineration. We're planning on uh, processing uh, two live agents, chemical warfare agents. One of them is called HD, which means uh, sulfur mustard, and the other one is VX, which is an organophosphate and is actually a nerve agent. Our engineering team designed and built a mobile plant and then trained the Army specialists to process the deadly toxins. The Mobile One plant not only completely destroyed the warfare agents, but also eliminated the gunpowder in the artillery shells and the fuel in the rockets. Our experience in destroying highly toxic chemical compounds, leaving no negative environmental impact, led to a search for other pressing waste problems that our technology could address. We discovered that it can easily be adapted to destroy far less complex organic materials such as tires, municipal waste, and sewage. The natural energy process is just what the world needs.